But what of the children that will never live? How can you play God like this? I understand what you're saying, that human beings have made you feel this way. I, I guess even I didn't realize. I can't even realize the pain. I can see it in your eyes when you speak. And now thinking on it, the way that you've lived alone, the way that you couldn't talk to people, I remember that, and the way that you couldn't do things that ordinary people could do, but you had a gift, it, it was different. But don't you see, this different gift isolated me. Yes, but look at all the good that it's done. What you had was, was being able to see, because you weren't part of the masses, you could see your, your, you had a conscience, you had a way of thinking, your, your, your mind, your, your, the writings that you did. That was your gift. You were, you, you're a one in a million, a, a scientist of thought. But it isolated me. Because you are different. Yes. But... If humans were more moral, more understanding and caring, they would understand that no one should be made to feel this way. That what I've been doing has been a good job. And they just refuse to see it because I am different. It happens all around the world every day. People are made to feel isolated because they are different from what the general masses have decided normal human behavior should be. But let me tell you, look around at nature. Is there anything that is normal? There is always difference. The typical human thought, the mistake, is that humans think there should be something that is normal and everything outside those bodies is wrong and medication should be given to force it back into that box of normal. But it doesn't work that way. Nature doesn't work that way. Nothing works that way. That is the human error that has been made all this time. That they believe that there is anything that is normal, where there is nothing, nothing that is normal. Everything is different, and everything should be treated that way, not made to be normal. Don't you understand, and that no human can understand that if I try and tell them, how many years have I tried to tell them, but never they will listen, they will always decide that I am wrong because they have more people speaking the way that they do. It's a form of racism, it's a form of mass extermination by making them normal. Like, Germany, in the war, back in the 20th century. How the Nazis coped with their problem about normal. Hitler had decided that a certain breed of human beings weren't what he considered normal. And he decided to take a moral crusade and exterminate them all, or try and bring them into line. And there, there were men, women and children who stood by this man or said nothing. Because there were more people, more pressure, that he was right. And if you are with the masses, then you must be normal.
but there is no normal. If you have only one leg, you no longer become normal, because what is deemed normal by humans is two legs. But nature has its ways. Just because you have one leg, should you be treated differently? You're as normal as any two-legged person. But only humans will distinguish such a thing. A tree, if it has one less branch than it should have, no other tree would notice. But humans, humans would. And humans would begin to rectify this error in nature. If somebody has a different way of seeing, they're forced into that way. Like some Orwellian state. Forced into becoming normal. And yet all these countries claim freedom. But there's no such thing, and that is why this pyramid is necessary. That is why my mind came up with it. If this world was free from moral degradation and stupid human error, my consciousness, my mind, would never have thought of this pyramid. And yet it has. And there, there is justification. And that is why I will do it. I will give myself and others freedom. But aren't you creating exactly what you're talking about? Now you play God. You decide what's normal and not normal. But I don't. I'm going to kill everybody. That's not deciding is normal or not normal. In my eyes, every human being is ready for death. Aren't we all dead anyway? Look around you. Look at how people act. The lonely people, they get spat at, they get taunted at, they get looked at, they have pressure amongst pressure, the old people, this government gives them a little benefit for all they've done, let them rot away, look at how the youngsters act, not caring about a single thing, drinking and partying, as if these were moral things to do. Life has met its end a long time ago. This is just an inevitable death that had to happen, and I bring it earlier Maybe in saving some pain. So now I hope you understand. I guess. I know your life, I know the way you've been treated. When your mother in hospital died and they misdiagnosed and they tried to cover it up and your childhood obviously that you've told me of now. I understand I I often feel the same myself being alone because you're different. When I was younger um, I didn't drink or smoke or party, 
So that made me feel alone. Everybody else wouldn't. I would just walk home past the dock walls and follow them on my own. More of a friend than I was. So I do understand. I'm sure a lot of people do. There's a lot of people out there that are given drugs or counseling to try and make them normal when it's part of nature's way, part of the mind's way to sometimes think differently. Even if you can't see the proof of this, I mean, look at the famous scientists, how they've been treated in the past, heresy and what have you, the witch hunts. Seems to have been in humans uh, for a long time. But now, but I, I can't, I, look, I know why you called me here to tell me, because I'm on the Council of Human Rights. I know it's a cry like any suicide plan. And I can help. And I know that's what you want. I'm your friend, you can trust me. Friend. A clever one at that. But what can you do? You can't change every mind. That's going to take time, you know. Yes, we're fighting an uphill battle, but... Uh, I can help. I can talk to some people. I can... release some of the pressure from you. <laughs>